Now I will one. Today I am trying to make another diamond, but this time it will be a pear shaped diamond. To begin, delete the default cube by selecting it and pressing X. Next, add another mesh by pressing Shift plus A. I'll start with a mesh cylinder to create my 3D diamond. In the settings, change the vertices from 32 to 8. Now go to edit mode by pressing tab and change the view to x-ray mode to make it easier to select these two vertices. Enable proportional editing and select the sharp file of option. Now grab these vertices with G and you can see the pear shape starting to form. In edit mode you will notice three options, vertices, edges and faces. Click on faces and select both the top and the bottom faces of the cylinder. Right click and select poke faces. Next press Ctrl plus R to add loop cuts. Use the mouse wheels to increase the number of loop cuts and add only 3 loop cuts. Now select this edge with Alt and the second edge along with it using Shift plus Alt. Subdivide these edges. After that select the second and last face right click and select triangulate faces to create a triangular facets. Select all the edges created from subdividing the two loop cuts and scale them a little. Oh, make sure to disable proportional editing first, then scale them slightly just like this. Yes, this look correct. Next, select the top face again and click triangulate faces, but this time change the beauty option to fix. Now I'll select these vertices and grab them upward by pressing G and then Z. To move them along the Z axis only. For the bottom part, select the last vertices with Alt, grab them upward and scale them slightly. Adjust and grab them until you are satisfied with the shape. Now I'll fix the upper part of the diamond to give it the final look. Select the vertices, grab them downward. Scale them and adjust until the shape looks just right. Lastly, grab this one vertex just a little, just a tiny adjustment. Now look, I have made my pear shaped diamond. Now it's time to give it some material so it shines like a diamond. Open the shader editor and add a new material. Delete the principal BSDF and replace it with glass BSDF for the diamond material. Change the IOR to 2.4. I want a green diamond for my jewelry model, so I'll use this green shade, but you can use any color you like. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed making this pear shaped diamond with me.